Hey there, good optometry good morning. Today we are telling you about all the most common types of pink eye and what you should do about them. And we are starting right now. Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, the YouTube eye doctor. And today, as promised, we're gonna be exploring the world of pink eye. And we're gonna be telling you the most common causes of pink eye, what you can do about it, and all the information you need to know to deal with that. Now, first of all, let's get some terminology straight. So. Pink eye is a layman's term, it's not a medical term, so oftentimes people come in and say I have pink eye and something going on there, but the actual medical term for pink eye is conjunctivitis. So throughout this video I may use that word conjunctivitis and if I do, then I'm referring to pink eye and I'm going to use them interchangeably. Alright, so another important thing that I want to touch about pink eye is that when we're talking about pink eye, we are often, as doctors, we are often referring to conjunctivitis, which is an infection or an inflammation of the white part of your eye, or the area, actually the tissue on top of the white part of your eye, which is called the conjunctiva. Now, there's an important differentiator that we need to do is differentiate that this infection is not affecting the cornea, which is the clear tissue on the front of your eye. That's a clear tissue that's over top the colored part of your eye. And if you have an infection that's affecting the cornea and not just the conjunctiva, that's an important thing to make sure you get treated properly because that can be vision threatening. So everything I'm going to be referring to today is talking about just the pink eyes that are just dealing with the conjunctiva or conjunctivitis. All right, so there are basically three main causes that make up the majority of the conjunctivitis that are out there. So they include bacterial, viral, and allergic. And under those three, you're going to get that's going to deal with most of these uh, pink eyes that you're going to have. Now, the good news is that these different types of pink eye or conjunctivitis, they're going to differ in symptoms enough that you can be able to differentiate them for the most part just by knowing four main things about them. All right, so the four main things that you need to know about each of these pink eyes is what type of discharge does it give? How long has it lasted? Is it involving one or both eyes? And then how does it make your eye feel? And if you can answer those questions, you can help differentiate which one of these it likely is. So bacterial conjunctivitis is caused by bacteria that's around on our skin or in the world. And it's gonna typically give you some discharge that's very thick, mucousy, very sticky type of discharge. It might even have a yellow or a greenish color to it. And But this type of discharge, it's gonna feel in the morning, it's, your lids are gonna be very matted shut and stuck and really stuck shut with material. So it's got this really thick, goopy discharge. And that's a very differentiating feature of this type of conjunctivitis. As far as the duration goes for bacterial conjunctivitis, it's gonna typically last between five to seven days. And the good thing about this is that your immune system is actually pretty good at fighting off these bacterial infections to the eye. And so we often refer to that as being self-limiting, meaning that your body's gonna take care of it its itself. Now, sometimes we'll give you some eye drops for this that will help clear it up, and I'll talk about that in just a moment. But those might clear it up a little bit sooner, but these will typically resolve on their own within five and seven days. As far as one or two eyes, bacterial conjunctivitis will usually present as being monocular, meaning they'll happen in one eye, but then it's not unusual because they are contagious that they might spread to the other eye. So you might start in one eye, and then as that one quiets down, the other one starts, and so it might seem like it spread. So, so let's talk about being contagious. So bacterial conjunctivitis is contagious, meaning that if you touch your eyes and, and infect your fingers or hands with that bacteria, whatever you touch, you can spread that bacteria to, and if somebody else touches that, then they can spread it to their eyes. So it is cont contagious, but it's contagious by touch and not through air droplets or through the air. So if you're just sitting in the room with someone and you have a bacterial conjunctivitis, you're not going to typically spread that to them. So what you want to do is you want to have good hygiene. So basically, if you touch your face or around your eyes, you want to make sure you wash your hands with soap. And uh, anytime you do that, make sure you're washing your hands with soap so you don't spread this to other people. You can also take other precautions by washing your pillowcases regularly, not using the same towels as, as other people are. You probably want to switch out your makeup and, and start with new makeup because that might be uh, uh, contaminated or anything that are around your eyes. If you're wearing contact lenses, you want to replace your contact lenses, start with a new pair of contact lenses and a new contact lens case because all these things can spread this bacterial conjunctivitis to yourself again or to the other eye or to somebody else. Okay, so how are you gonna treat your bacterial conjunctivitis? So like I said, a lot of these are self-limiting, so your body's immune system is often pretty good to just deal with it yourself. But if you wanna resolve it a little bit faster, then you wanna get some antibacterial eye drops. So these eye drops, there's some over-the-counter anti antibacterial eye drops that you can get, but oftentimes they may not be strong enough to have much of an effect. But the prescription antibacterial eye drops are really effective in quieting down these 
bacterial conjunctivituses. And, and these will often shorten the duration of these conjunctivitis by a few days, so they'll only last one or two days rather than taking a full five to seven days. Now, and one important thing I want to point about the eye drops and being contagious, one of, we want to make sure that you're not touching the tip of the eye drop to your lashes or to your eyelid or to your fingers because then you can contaminate that bottle and those eye drops and might be spreading it around or, or actually making that worse. And that's also the reason why you don't want to reuse eye drops. So if you have some eye drops sitting in the in your cupboard that you've used for a previous eye infection, absolutely do not use those. Make sure you get a new prescription. All right, before we go on to the next one, I want to make sure you stick around to the end because I've got a few key tips that you need to know if you're dealing one with your conjunctivitis. And if you're liking this video so far, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. All right, so another common cause of pink eye, and it's arguably thought that this is probably the most common cause of pink eye, is viral. So there are a lot of viruses in our world, and these viruses can cause infections to the conjunctiva of our eye and cause pink eye or viral conjunctivitis. All right, so viral conjunctivitis, they're gonna have a discharge that feels very watery. It's not gonna be thick and mucusy like the bacterial conjunctivitis, but it's gonna be kind of watery and your eyes gonna feel kind of weepy. You might have some discharge or crusting in the morning, but it's not gonna be really matted shut and really crusty shut like a bacterial conjunctivitis would. Now, as far as the duration of a viral conjunctivitis, viral conjunctivitis will typically last between seven and 14 days, much like a common cold does. As far as which eye they affect, they will act much like a bacterial conjunctivitis in that the virus will often start in one eye and then it can very often spread to the other eye because viral conjunctivitis is contagious as well. So all the same things that apply to being careful of not spreading this around with bacterial conjunctivitis, you want to do the same thing for viral conjunctivitis so you don't spread this to your other eye or to other people. And so your eyes get to typically feel kind of weepy or watery or and sometimes it can feel like it's even a little bit full because of the swelling that occurs in the conjunctiva. So the treatment for viral conjunctivitis, unfortunately, we don't have any eye drops or any antiviral eye drops that can treat these typically. So unfortunately, you just got to let this run its course and your body's immune system is good at fighting off these infections, but it's going to often last seven to 14 days. Now, there is one exception to that. There are a couple of viral conjunctivitises that are out there that sometimes your eye doctors will do some in-office treatments of a solution called betadine, which will kill the active viruses that are on the surface um, and can help speed the resolution a little bit faster. But typically, we don't have any antivirals that are going to treat these viral pink eyes. Now, sometimes eye doctors, after the initial presentation of a viral conjunctivitis, will put you on a steroid eye drop. And these aren't to treat the viral infection, but they'll often bring down some of the inflammation that occurs on the cornea from some viral infections. All right, and the last form of pink eye that we're gonna be talking about today is allergic pink eye. All right, so allergic pink eye is typically may not have a lot of discharge is associated with it, although it might have a little bit of weeping. And the duration of allergic pink eyes would typically depend on what you're allergic to. So if it's seasonal allergies, it might run through spring or fall, a few months during the, the season where you're exposed to some of those allergens. If you're just allergic to cats, then it might be just when you're around a cat. So you'll be able to help differentiate the cause of this a little bit by how often and when this occurs. But the big differentiating is, is how this feels. So allergic conjunctivitis is typically gonna be pretty itchy. So if your eyes are feeling pretty itchy and you really want to and they're red and they really want to scratch them, then it's a good chance that this might be allergic. And another key differentiator for allergic conjunctivitis is that it's bilateral. Because these allergens aren't gonna only affect one eye, they're gonna typically affect both eyes. So it's gonna be typically presenting in both eyes at the same time. So treatment for allergic pink eye, we have some great antihistamine products that can help quieten down these symptoms and quieten down the effects of this red eye. So there's some great over-the-counter eye drops that you can use. There's some great prescription antihistamine eye drops, but also there's even contact lenses that are infused with antihistamines that can deal with your allergies to allow you to continue to wear your contact lenses during allergy seasons. And that's really, really cool. Okay, and a couple final tips about conjunctivitis if you're dealing with them. Number one, if you're concerned or wondering what this is, go see your eye doctor, go see your optometrist to check this out. The optometrist is the perfect person to take a look at what your pink eye is. They have the proper training and the proper equipment and the ability to treat and deal with all of these conjunctivitis that you might have. Other important things to consider is the duration of this. If you have a pink eye that's been going on for a long period of time that's not resolving, make sure you get seek help to get that dealt with because there are a lot of less common type of conditions that can have problems that you might need treatment from a medical professional to deal with. If you have any pain or blurred vision, definitely seek out your optometrist or your eye doctor to take a look at this because then it might indicate that it might be involving the cornea, which can be vision threatening. 
All right, and lastly, if you are a contact lens wearer, I want you to assume that your red or pink eye is caused by your contact lenses in some way. So my recommendation, if you are a contact lens wearer and your eye's red, take your contact lenses out, go see your eye care provider that fit you with your contact lenses, and ask them for help in differentiating the problem and finding the solution for you. And with that, have a great optometry day. Thank <laughs> you.